In the realm where technology meets human ingenuity lies the University of Maryland Robotics Center, a beacon of innovation that drives the future of robotics research. The main mission of the Maryland Robotics Center is to advance robotic systems, the underlying component technologies and applications of robotic systems we bring to the center a systems thinking. We try to think of robots as a wholesome and not a particular piece at a time. The center's research efforts encompass a vast array of disciplines, pushing the boundaries of robotics and artificial intelligence. Through their interdisciplinary approach, they tackle challenges that demand collaboration between fields like aerospace engineering, bioengineering, computer science, and more. The Fearless Flight Facility is a unique facility adjacent to campus that allows us to fly drones outdoors. So in this research we are using uh, swarms of autonomous quad rotors to map and search an urban environment. So the autonomous quad rotors, as they fly around, they collect uh, sensor data, which we simulate. And this sensor data consists of uh, a road network representing the urban environment. So they continuously map the environment and search for moving uh, vehicles or people uh, with the hope that this type of technology could be used for search and rescue applications. The work being done here is not just about building robots, but about building systems that can communicate and work together seamlessly. This is the future of robotics, where the collective intelligence of multiple robots far surpasses the capabilities of a single machine. When most people hear the term robot, typically they're thinking of something like the Terminator, something made of metal that's powered using electronics. But recently there's been a shift towards this new type of robot, soft robots, which typically consist of flexible materials that are controlled using fluids or air. In the Bio-Inspired Advanced Manufacturing Lab, or the BAM Lab, we try to use micro and nanoscale 3D printing technologies to solve biomedical challenges. And so in the context of robotics, we're trying to create an entirely new generation of soft prosthetics that are built using 3D printing. Through the fusion of robotics and medicine, the Maryland Robotics Center is revolutionizing healthcare, making procedures safer, more precise, and accessible to a larger population. The work we do here with my, with my group, in particular my students, is kind of unique and important because we bring a unique perspective into robotics. We try to think of robots, whether they are one or several, as a system and we try to, to, to have this wholesome approach to the design of the robots, to the evaluation, and so on and so forth. And that's kind of unique. Nature has provided us with remarkable designs and mechanisms. Through biomimicry, the Maryland Robotics Center is unlocking the secrets of life itself, bringing us closer to the future of robotics. The EREB Drone Lab is a brand new shared lab that allows us to study aerial robotics using motion capture cameras. The future of drone racing is really exciting. Um, it involves a lot of cheaper sensors, so we can actually do a lot of really cool vision-based algorithms, which means that the drone can see things, can process things very fast. It sounds very cool, um, and within an academic setting, it's really great, but the applications for it in the real world are really um, exciting as well, from search and rescue to monitoring fires to um, uh, medical assistance. The work conducted at the Maryland Robotics Center is not merely about pushing the boundaries of technological advancement. It's about addressing real-world challenges and improving the human experience. The applications of their research extend to fields such as healthcare, space exploration, disaster response, and beyond. In the space community, people have called things robots for years, but all they mean by that is there's no human on board. But what we're doing is space robotics in a more traditional sense of robotics, which means we want to reach out and interact with the environment. We're trying to build robotic systems that can repair satellites, build bases on the moon, or explore Mars. If you want to understand how to do useful work in space, you need to be able to recreate space on Earth. And particularly for the kinds of work we do, building stuff and so forth, we need to have weightlessness. Neutral buoyancy is where we go under water and carefully adjust ballast so things don't float and they don't sink. So it's like being weightless. What we have here is a tank that's 50 feet across and 25 feet deep, and we use it to simulate space. There are only six tanks like this in the world. 
This is the only neutral buoyancy facility in the world on a university campus, and it's one of only two active facilities in the United States. So we're very pleased to have this unique facility. We put our robots in the water. We actually put people in the water, either um, directly as if they were inside a habitat or wearing spacesuits to try to plan out what the future is going to look like in space. Through cognitive robotics, the Maryland Robotics Center is paving the way for machines that can navigate complex tasks and make informed decisions, ultimately leading to safer, more efficient, and more intuitive human-robot interactions. We try to teach robots, not program them, to teach them tasks. Because if you program them, then there are errors. And if you change the environment, they are not going to do it again. So the logic behind this work is kind of unique. We're trying to do like humans. We try to, under to understand what is the logic of the task. Then we introduce in the computer of the robot the logic of the task. The robot, we assume, knows its embodiment, knows how to move around like you and I do, and it has its sensors. And then we execute the planning algorithm. And this way, we've been able to show that once you learn a task, you can give it to a different robot, it can execute the task in a different environment than where it learned and all that stuff, which all these are very important for trying to increase the capabilities of robots and the way to interact with humans. In the realm of social robotics, the Maryland Robotics Center is breaking down barriers between humans and machines, fostering collaboration, and creating a future where robots seamlessly integrate into our everyday lives. One of the unique things about this laboratory is everything you see here is designed and built here almost entirely by the students. So if you look at a robot arm like this, that was originally developed to fly in the space shuttle. It was developed by students, and we still operate it using graduate students and undergraduates. The students are the ones who are actually executing, so they're the ones who actually know what's going on, how to fix things when I break them. The Maryland Robotics Center is a beacon of innovation, uniting visionary leaders, researchers, and students to unlock the potential of robotics. Their groundbreaking research robotics is shaping the future of technology and revolutionizing industries.